Slayer Darth. Slayer Darth Chicho. What are the best politics, history, geopolitical books you have read and would recommend to others? Um, I'll just give you some just top of my head. Gore Vidal's, and these are the ones I've given before. Gore, Gore Vidal's um, Perpetual War for Perpetual Peace. Important book, very quick read. Uh, Chris Hedges' Days of Destruction, Days of Revolt. Good read, good read, important read. Uh, so Perpetual War for per Perpetual Peace connects up with geopolitics of the United States, okay, with internal politics as well. Very quick read. Days of Destruction, Days of Revolt is a heavy read, much bigger read, right? Longer read, but it's mainly about the domestic U.S. for domestic uh, U.S. policy and how it's devastated um, the United States uh, of America and devastating the Western world. Uh, one term you have to uh, appreciate from that book is sacrifice zones. Okay, and if we are not caref careful, the world will become a sacrifice zone, and it is. Okay, uh, those are two books. Um, others, others 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 um, there, there, there's others as well um, I can't think of anything right now uh, top of my head those two books I would if you're in the United States those two books are ridiculously important to read okay go for it. one of the more candy like fruits okay nice night baby night you've been hooked on pumpkin seeds nice pumpkin seeds are so good lots of zinc i believe lots of zinc yeah raw raw seeds and nuts are the best actually really good for snacks on uh, really nutritious yeah listen to society oh nice thanks for the post uh, elder god of those interviews baby night i feel like 1984 is your favorite book Am I right? And I wouldn't say my favorite book. It is an important book too, but I wouldn't call it strictly a geopolitical book. It's uh, uh, what would we call it dystopian literature. And there's a lot of those you could read, of course, right? Uh, 1984, Brave New World, Animal Farm is, as far as I'm concerned, uh, 1984 is an important book, George Orwell's important book, but I think Animal Farm is more important than 1984 okay i think animal farm is more the structure of our societies right now uh, i think that's the ridiculously important book that is overlooked for some reason over 1984 1984 for sure is in your face obvious what's going on animal farm is 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 delivered in a certain way that if you think if you just pause and think about it you go oh wow right First time chat, John Sunachi. John Sunachi. I think I tried to load Gilded, but it courses, uh, uh, it courses cookies. So I noped it, uh, noped out. Really? Yeah, I use it on a PC. On a PC, is great platform. I think it's a better platform than uh, uh, Gilded on uh, than uh, Discord. Uh, the interface is better baby night yeah animal farm is also great overall really had a uh, knack for those kinds of dystopian books yeah indeed mino bailey i have a list of history books if someone uh wants it just dm me awesome awesome elder god animal farm is a satirical allegorical novel novel by george orwell first published in england on 17 august 1945 the book tells the story of a group of farm animals who's uh, who rebel against their human farmer hoping to create a society where the animals can be equal free and happy ultimately the rebellion is betrayed and the farm ends up in a state as bad as it was before under the dictatorship of pig of a pig named napoleon yeah. and there's an animated a movie of animal farm out there which is a brilliant movie and i highly recommend watching it 
and we found out a, a while ago that the CIA actually funded the creation of that movie to fight communism and it's it's a basically a reflection of Western societies right now so watch the Animal Farm animated movie that was produced I believe in 1954 or something like this and it's amazing it's amazing 